South Australian World War II veterans have gathered to mark the 70th anniversary of victory in the Pacific. 300 local veterans shared touching stories as they remembered the day Japan surrendered to Allied forces, bringing our bloodiest battle to an end. Japan has today surrendered. 70 years since the day peace fell over the Pacific, our proud veterans remember the victory like it was yesterday. They said the Japanese have surrendered. And I rushed to the whistle and blew it. To think that we're coming home was wonderful after a thousand days of service. The Japanese surrender brought to an end the brutal Pacific War, which killed almost 17,000 Australians. The Second World War was finally over, and Adelaide streets flooded as celebrations erupted with the news that our long gone troops would finally be returning home. So too would the thousands of men on the brink of death in horrific prisoner of war camps. It took quite a little while for people to realise that. Yeah, we're free. It's finished. It's done, you know. Among them, Jack Thomas, who was captured in Java in 1942 and forced to work on the Burma Railway before being taken to Japan to continue slave labour. On the 15th of August, we had no guards. Everything was quiet. No one seemed to know anything. It was stunning. The 94-year-old honoured to deliver the Ode of Remembrance at Adelaide service attended by more than 300 World War II veterans and their families. We will remember them. Tony Abbott laying a wreath before expressing his own gratitude. You fought in the air and on the sea, in the jungle and in the desert. Mr Abbott welcomed an expression of remorse from the Japanese Prime Minister, but Shinzo Abe also said future generations should not have to keep saying sorry. Today, however, all Australians were saying is thank you to the one million people who helped with the war effort and those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Alice Monfries, Nine News.